Good morning. My name is Louise Gannon, and I have recently completed my second year of actuarial and financial studies in UCD. My group and I sought to identify an area where actuaries might work in the future. We began by considering the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Agreed upon by 193 UN member states, the Sustainable Development Goals seek to end poverty through strategies that improve health and education, reduce inequality and spur economic growth, all while tackling climate change and working to preserve our oceans and forests. These goals can only be achieved with the involvement of the private sector. We pose the question, given our broad actuarial skill set, what can we do to help achieve these goals? Our answer lies in the concept of microinsurance. Microinsurance is insurance targeted at low-income people in developing countries. Microinsurance is critical to the achievement of six of the Sustainable Development Goals. It helps to end poverty by providing a safety net for families. Agricultural insurance and weather index insurance can help end hunger. People with health insurance are more likely to seek treatment. Insurance provides a protection for women who have lost their husbands, and this empowers them economically. Insurance also promotes economic growth because banks are more willing to, to lend to businesses with insurance. It also mitigates the effects of, of extreme weather events, thereby strengthening climate change resilience. Emerging markets account for around one-fifth of the world's total global premium spend, despite representing 86% of the world's population. As premiums in the saturated insurance markets of developed countries stagnate, insurance, the insurance industry in emerging markets is experiencing double-digit growth. Building a strong microinsurance sector is key to safeguarding this growth long term, but this will require broad technical expertise. How can premiums priced at just a few cents a month ever be profitable? And how do you measure risk when there is limited data available? The greater the complexity of the problem, the greater the need for actuarial skills. Yet in many developing economies, Act, the supply of actuaries is scarce or non-existent. I present an example of how actuaries can increase the viability of the microinsurance sector. In practice, high-risk loadings are often used to offset the uncertainty in risk assessment. This results in an overestimation of risk, which affects prices and demand. Through a case study, Imma Pina, who is an actuary, she proves that more accurate premiums can be calculated using a new pricing methodology. She uses generalized linear models in her analysis. And this is a statistical method which my class had the great pleasure of being introduced to this semester. I conclude with two quotes. One of the constraints inhibiting the expansion of better insurance services for more low-income households is sufficient technical expertise. There are certainly lots of people who understand development, and even more people who understand insurance, but there are very few experts in development and insurance. Given our unique skill set, imagine the impact we can have on the efforts to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. We are the privileged few who want to make the world a better place while also having the skills necessary to realize that change. Thank you for your attention.